It's election day in Misrata, a first for Libya since the ouster of Muammar Gaddafi. Under the watchful eye of observers, voters were heading to the polls to pick a 28-member local council, a body which will take on the tough task of rebuilding the battle-scarred city. Misrata had experienced some of the heaviest fighting in the country during the eight-month uprising against Gaddafi, a rebellion backed by NATO. Bombardment and shelling on the city in five weeks of fierce street battles last spring left thousands dead and wounded and untold numbers of buildings wrecked. But when inexperienced rebels there managed to push Gaddafi's forces out in late April, it was a turning point in the uprising. The same resolute community spirit came into play once again more recently, as activists unhappy with local authorities demanded the council members resign and an election be held to pick replacements. For most residents, including a member of the election organizing committee who was in his 50s, it was the first time they'd ever cast a ballot. This is a historic day for Libya, and of Misrata especially, considering that this is the first election. Personally, this is the first time I voted, by virtue of the fact that I was small during the reign of the Crown Prince of Libya and was not entitled to vote. This is the start of building democratic state institutions, the rule of law, a state of justice and fairness and transparency. People were lining up to vote. Around 100,000 residents, roughly a third of the population, had registered. Women were voting in separate polling stations. The candidates they're choosing, two to three in each of ten constituencies, have very basic platforms and there are no political parties yet. The country as a whole is struggling as armed militias are considered to hold the real power. Still, the balloting in Misrata seems to be a source of great pride for those taking part. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.